Hey, Storytellers, the Storytelling Run. I want to show you how to use PDFs, fillable PDFs. This is for like mainly indie games. If you just want to use the basic minimum of the foundry and for your indie game, now I'm using for it for mine, for the little RPG, Christians in Space, Dark Ages, and Apostles of the Apoc. Uh, I just want to show you guys how to do this real quick. Uh, it's very annoying. Foundry is tough, man. I mean, I love it. It's It's what, 50 bucks and then that's it. And then... But then all these new builds and then all these modules, it's, it's tough. But let me just uh, show you what I'm doing. So you can you now have a PDF you can use for your character sheet, you know, fillable one. And this is my own PDF fillable form. This is one that, yeah, you know, you, you can just download the PDF on my website for free. Um, and then I, you know, had to go through Discord and figure this all out. But anyway, so how do I get this? And what's cool too is I even have it for the for the list of um, the the stuff that they have in their transport, the supplies they have, and they can they can look at this now. The characters can or the players. Okay, so basically it's a module because because Foundry in and of itself can't do doesn't allow you to do all this stuff with a PDF, which to me seems pretty. There's a lot of things I wish that were just inherent in the module or the Foundry, but whatever you know, like like the dice, you know, it seems like that would just be a a great thing to just have in it um and it's tough with modules because they don't update all the time every time you get a new build of foundry that doesn't mean the modules are going to work so that's a bit scary uh anyway so the pdf pager is the one i had to get now and um what you do is you get the pdf pager you turn that on then under configure settings you go to pdf pager here and uh, down here on their PDFs for actor sheets, you select the one you want. Okay, and then that's what that is by default. So when you make a token, um, these are all the players. When you make a token, let me just show you off this one that doesn't have it. You can go to sheet and it'll be right there, PDF, and that'll load up that one. Uh, I'm gonna take that off, off of this guy because he's not really supposed to have it just a NBC right now. Um, so these guys all have it. Now, what you got to remember though, is over here, when you make it, make sure you link actor data so that when you type in anything in here, um, it will be remembered right for the, when you put it out on the game, on the game table. Now, now the, now I just did this. So the players don't have an updated this yet because I just figured it out before, since session one, cause we're just starting up a new, um, Christians in space, uh, series and so I'm just sort of figuring it out as I go and I've had foundry f since build I don't know seven or six or nine or whatever it was but, so I know how to use it but I'm scaling down as much as possible because one I'm an indie RPG guy OSR indie game and I don't want to be stuck to foundry in a sense I want to use it as minimally as possible so many of the things I just use the tech you know I just type in the stuff from my manual from my from my pdf my own stuff um and just type it in here and try to use minimal foundry stuff as possible but i would like a pdf for the players so they can see their character sheets on here like this and be able to type in stuff and that's really hard to be able to do if it's just a you know if it's just like this kind of typing um and of course they have this that I want them to be able to see the list of things. I typed this in here once or put all this stuff in there, but it's just kind of harder to see, but easier to see like this. So that's cool that they can have that now. And this is, by the way, is, is an act is a token. I just, you know, I just decided, Oh, you can do custom. Um, you do PDF sheet for this guy. Let me go to the main and you can, so once you set up the PDF sheet here, it'll do the, by default, it'll do whatever one you've picked, right. And put in the, um, configure settings but you can um change it to a custom one so that you now where's that at uh where did i do that it's in here somewhere oh here <laughs> right there custom pdf so you can actually change it to another one and and so this specific token um has the the custom pdf i don't know i guess you can do it by default let me see um test so she yeah well i guess once you start the pdf you can then change it to a custom and then find find a different pdf okay so there's that let me just delete that 
so that's, I guess, it for explaining how you can use now, that's uh, NPC, how you can now have this in here. So this one is a, let's see if this works. Um, I forgot the guy's name. Uh, let me just put in some crazy numbers, eight, 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 and close that. That's this guy, which is Ken's character, and eight. Okay, good, they're in there. So, so his character sheet can be on here. I will tell him though to have a backup, a real, the real sheet as a printout or or the or a PDF on his own computer, just because I don't know how Foundry, you know, how long it's going to last in there. But I wanted it in there just for them to quickly do things, and then up, and then hopefully they'll remember to update them um, on their own. I don't even I don't know if there's a way to export them or anything like that. Um. Oh, it says log PDF. I don't know what that does. Inspect data. Oh, there's one last thing. Okay, one last thing to show you. And I don't know of any better way of doing this, but you know, you can have their hit points or, or vitality for me in their armor class or defense up here as five. That's not the right numbers, but you can do that. Uh, it's not in here, right, you know, that I know of. Under inspect data, you can see it's here under system health.max and system health.vet. Um, or, or to hear power five. I don't know how to change those, uh, the data stuff, but I do not change those numbers. What you have to do though, I'm going to do it over here, um, is turn off the PDF sheet and go back to default. There, there, there they are. So I can change them to 12, 12. This is the hit point one. And then this is the defense or armor class. And I don't know it might be 16. I'm just gonna do both. For this one, you only need one number because you don't change it, although I could. And then this one, I guess the first one would be the right, the main number. The first one's the main number, and this is with the one where it's, you know, it goes down hit points or whatever, you take damage. So close, oop, let me put bring back the PDF sheet. And it does remember the PDF sheet, I, I believe, I hope. It does remember the one, yes, okay, the one for that character. And then, so in here, is this Ken? Yeah, so the 12 and 16 are there now. That's his defense, and 12 is the hit points. So there's that. Okay, so that's my quick little video on if you have an indie RPG or if you want to use Christians uh, for the lower RPG. Um, I basically use as minimal as possible the foundry features. I try not to do any of the special effects or any of that stuff. I don't do any of the lighting. I just try to keep it like this. Um, and I do reveals through hiding, unhiding and hun and hiding the objects, my modular pieces, when they go exploring in dungeons or caverns or mines or whatever. Um, but no special effects or anything like that. Um, and all the stats and stuff are I try to put in the tokens, but these are all available in the actual books, the PDFs, um, and then the character sheets available, blah, 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 for mine, and keep it as simple as possible with dice, just with dice. I do do the music on here, my original scores, my all the artwork is modular pieces, as you can see, and the planets and all that, it's all artwork, and I keep it, I try to keep it as much as possible not stuck in Foundry or Dick, or you know, reliant on foundry features and just on my own basic, you know, the basic usage of, of PDFs and stuff that relates to the actual, um, indie RPG source stuff that I have for that's available on my website, storytellingron.com. All right. But and again, for, for you, any of you that do indie RPGs and you want to use foundry, I would recommend it because it's only $50. You don't have to pay a monthly thing. And then you can have your players online playing with you. And you can use a PDF, fillable PDFs. If you, have access obviously to Adobe reader or Adobe or whatever, uh, to make those. And I think there's some free versions that you can make it as well. Uh, fillable PDFs, but anyway, that's it for this video. Enjoy. And remember the game of life for those of you who are Christian roll, holy dice. And if you're not check it out. <laughs>